Hey everybody, welcome, Andrew Ains with Golf Academy. As always, a very warm welcome. If you're new to the channel, you might wanna consider hitting that subscribe button down there. It would be great to have you join the community. So, I've got another video from Mizuno today. Um, as you're probably aware, they released three new clubs recently. I've already put the review up there for their MP20 muscle back. We'll put some links to that video up at some stage. But today it's the turn of the MP20 HMB. We'll tell you all about that in a second. Stay tuned. So, exciting stuff. The new MP20 HMB I have in my hand. What does it stand for? What's it all about? Let's give you some tech. Let's explain a little bit more about the club to start with. And then what we'll do is we'll go in, we'll hit some balls over there in the hitting area as usual. So if you're not interested in the tech, and I kind of hope you are, um, you might want to fast forward this video on about four or five minutes and get to the hitting stuff. But let me tell you about it because it's an interesting golf club. So HMB, what does HMB mean? It means hot metal blade. Now, hot metal is a, is a line which Mizuno have been using for many years for, for their more cavity backed forgiving irons and um, it's a hollow head you know this construction will flash up some images and tell you about it as we go i'm just going to read straight off the mizuno website and we'll flash up the pictures somewhere up here it's a new breed they're saying a full set of performance hybrid irons in a sharp tool ready profile inspired by the proliferation not an easy word to say it eight o'clock on a Saturday morning. Prolifer <laughs> proliferation of long iron replacements on tour. So the story there is, is that they've been making for many years now these fly high irons in various sort of guises. And what they've found is that their tour players, they used to do a two or three and a four, and they rolled that out to a five in the last couple of years. A lot of their tour players and people who choose to use Mizuno by choice have put these long irons, oops, sorry, dropped the club on the floor, put these long irons in the bag by choice because they're easier to hit, the better flighted. So they've taken that concept and rolled it out into a full set of irons. Um, built upon the ball speed of Mizuno's Cromoli face and neck, supported by a precision stainless steel body, tungsten weighting laid with this soft copper, um, all the MP20 irons have got this soft copper underlay to give it more feel. Uh, nickel chrome and legendary feel and feedback is what they're saying. So you've got your layers of feel. Um, not going to dive into that too much. Muscle back DNA. Um, the proportions, top line and offset transition of a classic Mizuno player's muscle back with generous sole width hidden at address. Um, consistent players for consistent ball players pursuing added ball speed without sacrificing their shot making. Okay, um, so really just offering you a little bit of forgiveness. The big thing with the new MP20s is to be able to blend sets together. I'm going to see a lot of people coming in for fittings who will possibly, this starts, this goes from two iron, um, let's put the spec up here for you. I could see a lot of people maybe starting at sort of three iron with this, maybe going three, four, five, possibly six, then transitioning into some of the other clubs and ending up with maybe nine and wedge or eight, nine wedge in the blade. So you can mix and match the sets together. Um, Mizuno are expecting about 80% of their fittings in the MP20 range to be mixed, which is interesting. Um, brush satin finish, low glare, durable plated finish. Um, complex loft specific construction. Multi-thickness grain flow forged chromoly on the two to eight iron face and neck is dialed in to be consistently hot across the club face. And then uh, twin 12 gram tungsten weights on the two to seven iron deliver stability um, and an easy launch. Softer 1025 year pure select mild carbon steel makes the short irons nine and pitching wedge soft and responsive. So a lot going on on this club, isn't there? Um, lofts are pretty standardized, pitching wedge loft at 46, seven iron loft here at 32, three iron down at 19 and a two iron, that'd be quite scary to hit, wouldn't it, at 16 degrees. Um, and as you can imagine, lots of shaft options. Now there are a couple of new shaft options which we might touch on today. Um, Mizuno's ethos has always been to offer 
all the shafts and all the grips at one price and we'll mention price again in a minute they are off offering a couple of aftermarket premium shafts at an upcharge and i believe those one of those will be the dynamic gold tour issue now that is an upcharge for that shaft because it's really expensive apparently and there's one other which i can't remember which when i get over the hitting air of i'll remember price wise uh, nothing comes cheap these days with golf clubs if you're looking for quality and this club now is become very premiumly priced I'm pricing these irons individually at the moment that's a better way I'm finding of doing it and the cost of this iron custom fitted for me would be £180 per iron so if you were going to buy a seven iron set of those what's 180 times seven uh £1260 I believe that is for a seven iron set which is a big chunk of money isn't it but you are getting quality um, and that's comparative to a lot of other manufacturers certainly cheaper than uh, some others on the market like pxg and you know titleist are going to be around that area um callaway bloody bloody blah, blah, blah so it is a big you know 1260 pounds for a set of golf clubs is a lot of money but uh, i think it's relative to what you're buying and if you're going to factor in that these clubs may last you six seven years i suppose if you work it out that way it's not too bad anyway enough babble i do babble on don't i um let's go and hit some shots and see how these hmbs perform come on let's go over there and hit some okay everybody we have made it to the hitting area hope the lighting's okay i've experimented a bit today i've, I've dimmed some of the big lights down because they kind of bounce back off the screen so i'm hoping that the screen's a little bit clearer to see here uh, it might look a bit sort of man cave like, but uh, it should be okay. Um, yeah, let's hit this thing. We've got fitted uh, Pro Modus, NS Pro Modus Tour 105 in stiff, standard length, standard lie, Callaway Chrome softballs on the deck. Um, remains for me just to get in there, hit a couple of shots for you, and just see what we get. Now that wasn't a great strike to start with folks. It was a little bit thin, it was a little bit bottomy. Result though, is bar maybe a little loss of yardage. That has done remarkably well. And this is what I like to try and test in a golf club. What happens if you don't quite catch it out the middle? Will it still go? And that's done really well. So my, I would expect if I hit one really well with this to be getting about just under 160 carry, maybe 157, 158. So I've lost a little bit of yardage because of strike, but it's done remarkably well. A little low strike on the face, launch angles down, spin stayed quite high. Um, how does it feel? Well, I think I'd have to find the middle of the club to uh, answer that question. So I uh, hope you're not in a hurry. Let's go and hit another one. Oh, that was good. That was good. Now that did find the middle of the club. And that is about as good as I can hit it. That was right plumb out the middle. Felt superb off the club face. Um, again, not massively long, 155. Maybe expected a little bit more, but from a 32 degree seven iron, I think 155 carries where I'd expect to be. Launch is still a little bit low, but that's me. It's just the way I deliver the club. Lovely rate of backspin at six and a half thousand there. Um, beautiful. Um, question, what sort of player would buy into this golf club? Well, I guess the player who likes the look of a fairly traditional club, likes the thinner top edges, likes the bladed shape, but wants a little bit more forgiveness than you might get from a muscle backstroke blade. Remember that some of the best players in the world are choosing to use the long irons in these, you know, two, three, even four, maybe even five. Um, so it's kind of combining the best of both worlds, isn't it? Playability, um, good looks and good feel. Um, why have Mizuno launched this club? Because it's obviously something they've had in the design um, procedures for a little while, but I think it's going to compete very well with the Ping i500, the hollow forged face. Remember, i500 from Ping is just forged face, not a holly forged club. Um, some of the tailor made ranges, similar concept, PXG. Um, so there's lots of these hollow headed clubs around. So that's 
two reasonable shots there. Let's uh, let's push the envelope, as they say, and see if we can get a third. I'm going to go after this one a little bit, so if I don't watch it, I might turn it over. Okay, not bad. I've hit that a little bit harder. Should see the club speed, ball speed jump a little bit. Yep, I think that's pushed me up to sort of 160 carry. Uh, 159, managed to control it. Yeah, club speed, ball speed has gone up, gone up to about 115 of ball speed. Carry's gone up to 159. That's about the limit that I would get out of this club. Still launching a bit low at 18 and spinning at around about 6,000. So um, very good. Um, it's a great club. It's, um, it's, it's just a club which, you know, I stood down, I've hit quite a shot, few shots of it prior to making this video. It's, it's quite, I don't want to sound blase about this, but it's quite an easy club to hit. You know, when you get into some of the bladed irons and you just miss it a little bit, they, they kind of beat you up big time, you know? The distance bleeds off and they're, they're just hard work. But, you know, there's nothing hard work about this club. So there we go. That's my take on the MP20 HMB, the hot metal blade. Really interesting club. I've enjoyed hitting it enormously. If you're into this type of golf club, then I urge you to go and try it. Get fitted. Don't be afraid to mix and match the irons. You know, bring in some maybe the muscle backs and blend them in. It's really good. That's it. Again, don't forget to hit subscribe button. Give the thumbs up if you think the video is worthy of that. Post your comments down below. Uh, pleasure as always. I'll be back soon. Bye for now.